it is Friday April 24th and I'm coming at you with another video uncovering a couple boxes uh, that I mentioned in my last video I paid about a hundred dollars a box of uh, vintage toys and um, what I'm going to be showing you today are two boxes and this guy collected Tinker Toys and every Tinker Toy um, has a little label of what year it was and the completion. So we're going to go through it. I have not gone through it. I just kind of glanced inside the box. Um, and I don't know any value on Tinker Toys, but I'll show them to you. And, and uh, if there's any Tinker Toy collectors out there, let me know what you think. Uh, there's some other stuff in there, some Lincoln Logs, stuff like that, and I'll show you. I've been busy going through my last box, the Disney box, um, uncovering a lot of cool things. I've already sold a few items. I sold a uh, Milton Bradley vintage Try It. It's kind of like a maze cube, and I'll show you a picture here. And uh, what did I get for that? I got $27 plus shipping, and I shipped that out, I believe it was yesterday. Listed it, sold it pretty quickly. $27, it was in the original box. Um, pretty cool little toy I also sold a match King lighter from uh, San Diego Exposition I believe it was like 1930s I'll show you a picture here as well and I received uh, $35 plus shipping on that and I'm gonna show you a couple things that I sold uh, today like I always uh, do when I make a video I have three items going out that I'm going to package and one of the items was also from the box it was a it's a top and i'll show you that i received ten dollars for that and i'll be shipping that out uncovering a lot of cool disney stuff i have some stuff listed i'm still going through the box trying to figure things out and trying to list things a little bit at a time and then i'm going to show you these two boxes here uh, that i have right in front of me and i still have a couple more boxes that i'm going to show you in, in subsequent videos i'm trying to keep the videos uh under 20 minutes so um, people don't get bored got a lot of likes and comments uh, from my last video um, so keep it up appreciate it so let me show you what I sold then I'll show you what I uncovered okay so things that I sold like I mentioned the little green top has a metal tip and uh, received ten dollars for that plus shipping this is a pocket watch. It was in a couple videos back that I picked up from a virtual estate sale. It's a Walt Hem. Uh, the buyer has not yet paid for this. This was an auction that I put up. Started at $49.99. Have one bid and um, that's what it sold for. $49.99. Waiting for the buyer to pay and uh, get that shipped out. And then lastly is a St. Louis Cardinals hoodie sweater, pullover sweater. This is actually new with tags. The original price was $46.99. Had it listed for quite a while. It wasn't take, getting any uh, real bites on it. Finally, um, I just need to reduce some inventory. So I took a best off for $15 plus shipping. $15 plus shipping and uh, it's going out. Uh, I think it actually is staying here in California. Someone from LA area, I think, bought it. So um, $15 plus shipping, $10 and then $49.99. So these are the two boxes that I'm uncovering today. Uh, lots and lots of Tinker Toys. So let's go through it. Like I said, I haven't gone specifically to each box but uh, I'll try to go through it quickly because I think a lot of it is redundant so like I said the guy collected tinker toys and under each tinker toy is a note so this one says 1924 complete red flags This one says 1932 complete red spools blue flags. This one's uh, make it toy. Just 
says complete on this one. Another make it toy says complete. This one says 1935 complete red spools green flags. Like I said I don't know what kind of value these have, but um, this is a little toy gun. I say little, but it's actually pretty big. It's a Hubley, made in the USA. Colt 45. Pickup sticks it says complete. Again, not sure on the value of some of this stuff. Complete pickup sticks. Uh, this box seems empty. Cube puzzle. Not sure about that. It's a little Tinker Toy booklet. I don't know what this is. Some kind of advertisement, I guess. Tinker Toys, it's in a plastic case. Some more advertisements. Book B. Master of the Cube. I believe that goes with that, maybe. The original Slinky in the box. 1950s, he wrote on there. The Hearst Gyroscope, 1930s. That's in there. A little Red Riding Hood book. This looks very, very fragile. So I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Looks old. Uh, here's an Erector set. Usually the erector sets are in metal. This one's in cardboard, so it's a motorized. Let's see if he wrote any notes in here. I don't see any notes. So we'll go through that. So he's got notes here. Some more Tootsie Tours, 1923, 1923, 1923, different flags, I guess, blue, red, this one's a red flag, 1923, 1923 complete, so yeah, lots of Tinker Toys, didn't even know that was a thing, but I'm going to go back over here, this is the second box, or third box, the Disney box was the first one. So, let me see what I get. Lincoln Logs. Feels heavy. I don't think there's any notes on here. This one doesn't have a note. This one does. It says 1924 single set, double set, triple set complete. So, old Lincoln Logs. Thomas Brothers map, San Diego County. Let's see, 1951. There's another Lincoln log. Not sure on that. Some kind of little plastic boat. Bunch of Lincoln Logs, 1916. My goodness, that's an old one. 1915. This looks like parts. Popeye paints, 1949. So yeah, bunch of Lincoln Logs. I think this whole, this whole, uh, 1915, this whole tub is Lincoln Logs.
1920s. Just crazy. So if anybody collects Lincoln Logs, let me know. Or not Lincoln Logs, sorry, Tinker Toys. Looks like this whole tag is Tinker Toys. Let's see something else in here. Again, I'm not sure of a value on these. But even if I got 10 bucks each, that'll get me more than what I paid for the tub. So, take a tour lot. There it is. Take a look. Let me know what you think. Stuff seller out. Have a great day.